Hello and welcome to the O Double Channel with me, Olayemi Uluwadamlela. Yes, uh, for a while now, I have not been posted. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so many things have been going on and I haven't had time to really come up with uh, videos either on the one I'm speaking or the one I am tutoring on bag making. But well, so well, so good. I am back and I am back for good. It's a bang, bang, bang. All right, so today quickly I will be talking on something very important and you know It's it has gotten to that point where parents need to learn to you know know how to talk to their children now I'm not saying you cannot correct your children But that point where you know you should be able to speak to your children We should be able to talk to them based on you know how this one can take something and you know how the other one can take something as well so today i'll be talking on comparing and its effect that is the negative effect on the life of your children uh what brought up this topic two weeks ago while i was on instagram checking up some things i saw a post on a 24 year old guy who um killed himself because his parents have constantly been on his neck comparing him to the achievement of other children in the community and in the street and so while the boy killed, when uh, so when the boy killed himself, he got to the outside, and people were like, "These children that you parents are comparing your son to, they are actually into what they call yahoo yahoo." So it dawned on the parent that, "Oh my God!" So we've just been comparing our children to other people's. You know, we didn't even ask for their source of income, for what they're doing. We we're just after them, seeing them riding cars, doing good things. But we didn't look at the picture of where they're getting money from. So they kept comparing their son to the point the boy had to kill himself. Now, it's a loss for the parents. Yes. Because you might be thinking, oh, I'm comparing you to this, I'm comparing you to that. And most parents do this when it comes to terms in academics. You're like, you're not good in math. Got to see your brother. He's good in math. Oh, Rishé Guni. Oh, Shekba. Oh, Shawo. You know, we do so many things. I remember myself when I was growing up, I had a very big... My mom and I were like this for a while. Like, we didn't see eye to eye. Because she was always on the neck of, eh, dummy, you do not see this lady. She did this. Oh, mamas, I did not know mass. As in, maths was a big issue for me. <laughs> so she was, she would go about, you know, dummy, oh, shiba, oh, shawo, dummy, you don't do this. Dummy, you don't, ah, ah. The comparing was so much. Now, at the end of the day, I'm not making jest of the lady. But, you know, it turned out that the lady that you're comparing me with, see her, see me. Hello? You know, if I'd, you know, if I'd done like that guy and say, I, I, this thing is too much. At the point, I have to ask my father, are you sure this man is the one that gave birth to me? Because I don't understand, you know. But I understood later that she was trying to bring out the best in me, but she didn't do it the right way. I might not be good in maths, doesn't mean that I'm not good in some other places. And that you're comparing me with some other people, it's the person's time. My time would come. I've not gotten a job now, doesn't mean I'm going to be poor forever or doesn't mean I'm going to be jobless forever. You know, yeah, the, even children that you know you're comparing this child with, they're also thinking of their life and their situation. Then you don't keep comparing constantly every morning. They wake up and they greet and you're like, Makimi, oh, Remo Labajoti Lobisha, can't you see this man's son? He has gone to work here. You're just waking up, you're greeting me. What is good about the money? You know, parents do that. And the child alone is already thinking of his life and situation. Then you now keep comparing. You're like, adding, I don't even want to say, it's not salt and pepper. You're adding more fire, fuel to the whole situation so it leads to depression it leads to so many things that can affect the life of a child you know it can even make some children leave and be like i don't think these parents are the one that gave it to me i don't think these people love me and it's so bad now comparing to people in the street is even fair as in it's even still like okay we can still you know but then it becomes so bad when it is now between siblings no, you're not saying Ty, can't you see Kendi? She's better than you. She's good in physics. She's good in chemistry. You, you are not good in anything. I'm, I'm like, excuse me. Now, I might not be seeing Kendi as like, ah, uh -uh, Kendi. They say you're the good person, though. but over time, when I see that you're pampering Kendi, giving her all the things she asked for, and me, I come, I'm like, mommy, please, I also need. And you're like, eh, who are you? Well, what have you done in your life? You understand? I might not have the intention, but with time. I'll begin to see Kendi as, eh, so you're the favorite in the family. All right, cool. And we'll see where this will get you to now. And uh, this same last week, uh, someone sent me a post. It was also on comparing the family. How a boy who was good in drawing was compared over his brother and their twins. 
your vice brother who is good in everything you can think of every subject every profession it was like the the high class of the family and while the other one was just good in drawing and then in the course of him the while they were going to school he didn't see it as anything before but there was a time they were going to school and then he came back, he forgot something, so he quickly ran back. On getting home, he heard his parents talking with the lawyer and saying that, you know, you should give my other son, the one who is very good, like four of my estate, and give the other one who is not good, like one. And the lawyer was like, no, you're not being fair. You should give them equally. And he was like, no, that one doesn't know what he's doing in his life. He doesn't want to keep drawing all his life. How much does drawing want to bring? Give my other son. Even the mother agreed. So the boy was like, oh, cool. So he's going to get everything. So that moment, what he heard changed his orientation. And he killed his other brother and he also went to jail killed himself so now was the gain of the parents what is their gain nothing they use their hand like your brother was for where she right they use their hand to do themselves because comparing is not good it doesn't solve anything see no two children my daddy will say if you, even if you have twins the head of Taiwo cannot be the same thing with the head of candy and even if they are not twins my head or what I'm good at is not the same thing that my sister is good at. What parents should do is that they should understand the strength of their child. If your child is good in maths, good. If I am not good in maths, that doesn't mean I'm a failure. I might be good in other things. There's government, there's commerce, there's accounting. There are so many other things I can be good at. And if it's this profession, if you have a family business and I'm not interested, don't enforce it on me and somebody else is interested. Don't be like, oh, because I'm not interested, I'm the failure, I'm the black sheep. No. I might just have something else that I'm interested in. And you can also look at it from the benefits, uh, you know, other things. Is this what will make this child happy? Is this what will make this child, you know, grow? Look at it that way and not just about, you know, I am seeing my own, uh, this other child, man's child is an accountant and he's bringing money. He, you want to go and be a teacher. What is a teacher? Eh? In our family alone, you just go forbid, you know. Why don't you see to understand the perspective of the child? And if at all you think, oh, the child is just thinking because he or she doesn't know what he or she is doing you can now enlighten the child instead of comparing the child so quickly what are some of the consequences of you know comparing your children to other people or to uh, you know your to the other siblings the negative consequences first we have it's stressful on the child extremely stressful you are stressing that child like mentally emotionally the child will never want to come home because he knows that when i'm coming home he or she knows that when i'm entering the house the first thing they're telling me is eh what have you done today this and this that that, that. comparing stats i don't have rest of mind they're stressing me how do you even want me to grow how do you want me to be academically sound or prefer career sound if every time of my life i get home I keep hearing you comparing me to different people or to my siblings. You are stressing the child emotionally, career-wise, intellectually. In short, all areas, you are stressing the child. Another one is low self-esteem. When you keep comparing your children to say, oh, your sister is better than you, she knows this better than you, or you say, have you seen Mr. N uh, Mr. Nkechi's child or Mr. B's child, is this, is that, now your child will begin to see himself or herself as, okay, so I'm not good low self-esteem comes in and then he or she begins to have inferiority complex like oh my parents said i'm not good i'm not good that's it i'm not good so you know low self-esteem begins to grow and then low self-worth they don't see themselves to be good when yeah even when someone even tells them that they are good they'd be like no my parents said i am not good i cannot amount to any good in my life you have reduced the worth of your child to the lowest you can think of also another one is you build a carefree attitude for your child you build a carefree attitude for your child when you're when you keep comparing them now you're like i don't care as in it to get to the point where they know what to even say they will even complete the sentence for you like so they don't care like talk from morning to night you just come in here phew it's out so that is another one then you suppress their talent because some parents don't see talent as something that your child can use to grow or to become something great in life uh, either is a medical doctor or an accountant or this or a lawyer you know when you come up with something else that is not what they want you're like no 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 so you suppress the talent of your child why don't you help that child develop the talent and make good use of it now we have people who are good in photography and they're making millions millions we have people who draw and they are making money so we have people even air making whatever it is you know identify the talent of your child and help them grow with it do not suppress it when you keep comparing them part of the negative consequences is that you suppress the talent of your children and when you get to heaven you're going to account for how you helped these children grow how you helped them live a good life and of course a godly life as well another effect is they get distance from you if you are the parent who is always on the bikering of comparing, 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 
that child will be distant from you. They won't have to, they won't want to have anything to do with you. They are always going to be far away from you. They won't want to sit close to you. They won't want to be near you. They won't want to go out with you. They won't want to have anything to do with you because at the back of their mind, they're always going to have it there that this woman is still going to compare me or this man is still going to compare me with somebody and I'm not ready to listen to it. It even brings to them being rude to you. Like they'll get to a point where they're like, mom is okay. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I'm done hearing all this news and information. It's old. Is there nothing else? They get rude to you because you are not helping them and you are, you know, you're bringing out the beast in your child. Another one is now it breeds rivalry among siblings. Now you keep saying your sister is better than you. It's really when it's now the older sister you're comparing to the younger sister. Hello. Comparing is even bad. But it becomes extra and extremely bad when you're comparing the elder sister to the younger sister right in the presence of the younger sister or the younger siblings. It is totally, totally, totally wrong. Very wrong. So it breeds driver. So all these issues where, yeah, a uh, brother killed his brother, a sister killed his this, a this did that, you know. You should check the family. What were the parents doing till it left to this point? You know, the parents also have a hand in it. No sibling will wake up one day and say, I want to kill my brother. For what? something must have been wrong and most times when you check it it is always from the parent the parents are always the one who has the issue or who has the problem with this thing that leads to rivalry in the siblings or in the family so having said this i hope that you know you've checked yourself i am not saying comparing is totally bad sometimes you compare so that they'll be able to see it but then when you're doing it you do it with love you don't do it to castigate or to make the child feel bad you are totally erasing, you know, killing the morale of your child. If the morale of that child is high, you are bringing it down gradually to become very low. So if you're going to compare, compare with things that you know are feasible. Compare with things that you know are in line with, maybe you know your child is an address and you're like, ah, ah, damn you, and I went to this salon, oh, this lady did this sale. Why can't you also do it like this, you know? Now you're comparing in line with, you know what I am doing or what I'm interested in, but don't come and tell me you're not good in math. Kathy Sitaye is very good in math, but you know I'm not good in it. I am not good in it. And even if you will help me, comparing me with Taiwo or whoever is not going to help me. So, you know, there is more harm than good to, you know, this thing called comparing. So many people have killed themselves. So many people have left their family. So many people have turned their back on their family. So many issues have, have gone into the family. Some family have issues now because of comparing some parents might not see it as something bad they're like ah but i want the best for him now. if i don't compare him you will not see the bigger picture but there are other ways you can do these things there are other ways you can sit your children down you know you, if instead of comparing why don't you sit them down to talk about life talk about how they can make it in life ask them what are you good at what do you want to be in life how do you want to become this thing some of these children know what they want to do but the moment you begin to you know change their mind compare them they forgo all these good things that they have in mind why don't you sit them down ask them what do you want to be in life how do you want to achieve this thing what are your plans they have plans i tell you they know what they want to be but when you listen to them you will help them to be able to go in that path but when you don't and you keep comparing them they will fail both ways i mean the ways that even where you are comparing them with and the ways that they initially had and then you totally kill the talent that god has put in them on this note, I just want you to know that as a parent, you are going to account for how you helped your child grow to be the best that they can. When you get to heaven, you are going to account to God. How did you help this child grow to be the best he or she can? If you, in the process of comparing, you killed your child, it's your loss. It is your loss. So parents, stop comparing. Stop comparing no two children can be the same even twins they can't be the same identify the strength of each of your children and build on it and then their weaknesses you can also help them as well but comparing it is a no 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 a case that I'd like to hear from you if you've also had experience on comparing in the family. How were you able to grow out of it? Or how were you able to sit your parents down to make them understand that comparing is not good? Have you experienced family comparison before? I would like to hear from you. Do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the like button below. And also make your comments and contributions on comparing in the family. You can also add some of the negative effects of comparing and as well as some of the positive effects as well. If there are, but I know there is more harm than good in comparing, either in the family, in the office, in the church, wherever comparing is not good. It does more harm than good when you compare someone to another 
person. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching on the channel today. Till I come your way again, keep having a great day and note to yourself, whatever anyone says to you, always have it at the back of your mind that they don't have the final say. Who has the final say? The man up there, the almighty, has the final say. Keep having a great day. I love you all.